Flash tutorials ever! Welcome to another Unenter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the specifics of building a platform game. This is just the basics right now, learning how to create uh, a character which can jump on platform, so we have the basics of platforming down. I haven't been making tutorials for a little while. I was I had a little vacation. I was over my lady's house and you know I was in the bed. And let me tell you, you know when you're in the bed with a lady, you know what happens, don't you? I was watching three seasons of Lost and it was fantastic. Well anyway, I got a really positive response from creating game tutorials for Flash, so I figured why not get into the specifics of specific games. So I'm going with uh, platform games. People like platform games uh, ever since they started playing Mario. So I'm going to teach you how to create this game. This is a mouse controlled, but I have shown you how to use your keyboard to control your character. So I'm using the mouse for the sake of uh, less code. Uh, there are a few things missing, which, you know, there's no solid walls. The only thing that's solid is the ground. Uh, as far as him landing on it, but solid walls. There are no walls, just solid ground. So let's. I'm going to show. I'm going to show you how to code that. The first thing you need is to create two layers. One is our Action Script three layer, and the other is our content layer. As always, let's look at the content that I've created. I have my hero. The only thing special about this hero is where the registration point is, which is at the bottom of my hero. I'm doing this because it's just it makes code a lot easier. And make sure once you have your hero selected, you go into the properties and name your hero. I've I've gotten emails from people saying that all oh, the code doesn't work, and a lot of the time it's just because you haven't named your item. And also, I've created a, a level, which is basically a bunch of boxes, rectangles, simple rectangles, drawn all over the place. The registration point doesn't matter. And I named it level. So those are the two things you need to do. Draw a bunch of boxes and draw a triangle character. And you're on your way to enlightenment. All right. Clicking on the Action Script 3 layer, let's get into the actions of the game. I have my bare bones structure. The first variable is the velocity of the Y, jumped boolean, and the gravity, which I set to 1, I added two event listeners, one for control hero, this is going to be the brains of the hero, and the next one is an event listener for the stage, which checks if indeed I am clicked, if I have clicked on the stage, which fires this event. Since this is the small event, I'm, I figure why not do this first inside of our jump um, function. So if put the exclamation point which is saying not so if jumped the boolean if it's false then this will fire and the thing that needs to fire is uh, vy is equal to negative 20 and we want to set jumped to false no we want to set jump to true because he has jumped and the last thing I want to do is put that our hero is dot y is minus equal five, let's say. Oop. So what happens is we move our hero up, jump becomes true, and that's our jump function. We just created that first. Now let's get into the hero controls. The first thing I want to control is the mouse movement of my hero. It follows a certain criteria of my mouse. So if my mouse is a certain distance away, it will fo start to follow it. That's why I subtract numbers from my hero's x position. So hero dot x minus 20 is less than mouse x. I want my hero to plus equal 5. And I'll just copy this. So basically, it's going to the right if my hero, if I'm going this way, and I need it to go to the left now, so I'll just subtract it. And also, I need to add 20. This is just getting a, tw so I have a, a, th a distance of 40 to play around with. So once it reaches that threshold, my hero will stop moving. So, so in the center is where I get to move my hero left and right. So it's, it's pretty simple. <laughs> but uh, maybe explaining it's a little difficult, but it's basic. your hero basically follows the mouse. One is a certain distance away from it. Oh, that wasn't too hard to explain. 
The next thing I want to do is add uh, gravity to our y velocity. So gv plus gy. So now gravity is constantly being added. Now I'm just going to paste some code in and I'll explain it, what I'm doing. Uh, the code that I just pasted in was a hit test. What we are doing is we want to see if the hero is not hitting the land. So we put this exclamation point and we put the the name of our land which I named level so you know make sure you name your level your uh, bunch of boxes something and I'm just gonna put hero where the H's are and we put true at the last part which says are you looking to see the specific shape of your item and that is true and what we want to do is if that's true then we want to tell the hero to add velocity to its y. In other words, we're adding any upward or downward motion if the hero is not hitting the land. So we're doing a hit test. And right here we have this if statement that's saying if our velocity is above a certain number, we want it to set it back down. So this controls the gravity right here. So vy greater than 10, we want to make it 10. No, we don't want it to exceed that level. So, all right, now we want to test to see if our hero is in fact on the ground. So okay, the way we do that is this new snippet of code that I just pasted in, which is for a for statement which loops through it. I loop through it 10 times and I'll we'll go through this. This is all the new code that I just added. What it's saying is that we create a variable for and we make that variable i we set it to 0 and we test to see if i is less than 10 and after each go through we add 1 to i or we increment it so now what we do is inside of this loop we test to see if the if our hero is touching the level so level dot hit test point hero dot x y true what we do is we de decrement the hero's y value so that pushes our hero upward and we put the velocity, the y velocity, to zero, and jumped is false. So uh, now our hero will be able to jump if if they are touching the ground. So that's how we do that. So everything is actually set up. Uh, and the last thing for us to do is just test it. So we have our mouse con let me just fix this code up. We have our mouse control. Uh, we have our gravity added. We're seeing if we're not hitting it. We control the gravity. We are looping through multiple times to make sure that our hero is not is touching the ground. If our hero is, then we set jump to false. And now with our jump function, if jump is false, that's what the exclamation point means, then we send our hero up a little bit and then we change the velocity. And last but not least, we make jump true. So let's test it out. It's control enter to test our hero. Uh, oh. It seems that I have two errors here. I forgot to put hero dot x here. Hero dot x. This is in our mouse control. I forgot to put hero dot x plus five. So if you saw me put just hero, yeah, I messed up on that. So let's try it again. All right. Let me move this out of the way. So we got our hero moving and jumping. Uh, and this is pretty cool. You, I think you just saw our, my hero go through the ground. We haven't coded to make the 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 roof or the walls of our our little platform game, but this is how you get started. I mean, we have a jumping crazy hero, Triangle Man. So until next time, and until we see the next adventures of Triangle Man. Thanks for watching this on Enter Flash tutorial. Don't forget to rate, subscribe comment and go to my website click on an ad or two and that's the only place you can get the fla and the code and thanks for supporting on enter flash and uh, i hope to continue to do these